Hello everybody, Ted Carr here from CourseCreatorAcademy.com and today I want to show you a 30,000 foot bird's eye view of how to sell an online course. At least one way to sell an online course. This is the way that I sell my courses, this is the way I help my students sell their online courses. It is by far the best way to sell a profitable online course. Now, first I'll show you the old way and I'll show you the new way because you'll probably resonate with both of them. So the old way of selling an online course typically involves going from uh, social media to then making a, a, a post on social media that says um, buy, it says buy, you saying buy my course, buy my course, and then that sends people to like a checkout page, we'll say C slash O, checkout page, and you're hoping after that you make money. This is the old way, okay? Old way. Now the issue with doing this is that First off, people are not on social media to buy things. They're on social media to socialize. And when you're constantly making posts saying buy, 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 it gets kind of annoying. And if you're constantly trying to get people to buy things on social media, it's like, it's easy for them to unfollow you. It's easy for them to think you're all salesy. And, and I, I personally don't like to be salesy. So we go instead, the, the new way, rather than, and the also, so the other downside of doing this is with a checkout page, you're, you're hoping that this does the selling for you. I mean, you can post a bit on there, but then you're hoping that once they go here, that there's enough uh, happiness on this page that they actually take out their credit card and buy it. And this can work for low ticket courses. This can work, this old way, this model can work if you're selling programs for like 47 to $97 each. But if you wanna be making like $10,000 a month, you probably don't wanna have to be selling like 100 copies of a course every month or 200 copies of a course every month just to make 10 grand, right? You probably rather sell just 10 copies of a course. So the way to sell a higher ticket program is to do the following. Rather than going on social media and saying checkout page, go on social media and provide free value. Free value, completely free, helpful stuff. When, when, once you posted that, you can say, by the way, if you wanna learn more, go check out my free training, my free in-depth training. Because on social media, how in-depth can you really be with a little post, right? I'm talking Instagram, even, even a YouTube video like this, I can't go massively in-depth. But what I can do is I can send you to a free in-depth training. So I go free social media post, which is, which is truly helpful in and of itself. People should be able to get results just from that social media post alone. Then you want to send to a free training. Free training. And this is really like a, a master class or a webinar or a case study, we'll just call it a free training class, okay? This is where you can go in depth with them. And just like a social media post, where it should be good enough so that they can go on and get some results or at least like change the paradigm just from that post, your free class should be just as good, if not, if not better, I mean, it's a lot more in depth. This is probably anywhere from like 10 minutes to like 60 minutes, 10 to 60 minute free in-depth training class, okay? After the free training, or at the very end of the free training, I should say, you can then offer to help them implement everything they just learned in the free training. You can help them implement that a lot faster with you, okay? So this is where you could then go to a, a, a checkout page, like above, or sorry, um, right there, checkout page, and then they could then purchase and then you get your money there. Screw that. Or if you wanna sell even higher ticket, more than $1,000, you can get them to uh, book a call. But a lot of people send go, a lot of people make a mistake of going directly from the webinar to a calendar page, but then you're on a call with a lot of people who don't really qualify. So instead, what I recommend doing is sending people from your free training class over to an application, an application form. It's called an app or application form. We call it like qualifying app. Qualify app. Okay. And then there they answer like 10 questions. If they answer all 10 questions correctly to your liking, they then can get on a calendar page to actually pick a date and time to speak with you over the phone, you can get on the call with them and really see if they're a good fit. You can let them know a bit know you can let them know a bit more about your program, what you offer, the price, all that stuff. In fact, you don't even need to mention the price in the free training. You just say if you're interested in working with me, you can check out this page or you can book a call. On the call, that's where you could reveal the price. On the checkout page, that's where you reveal the price. From the checkout page, sorry, from when they book spot in your calendar, then they get on a phone with you, phone, P for phone, and then 
So that is where you'd make the sale. So my entire business consists of posting free stuff on social media and I'm growing my accounts, my Instagram account by like 35 followers a day, which is like a thousand a month. Okay, just 35 followers a day, a thousand a month. And I'm hoping, or not hoping, I'm like statistically in, in the momentum mode right now of like closing uh, at least 2% of those people. So typically on a month, I'll make 20 sales, okay? 20 sales. And my program is, it's, it's a fair price. My program's not cheap, it's a fair price. So I'm making about 20 sales a month on average, and which is like 2% of, you know, over the course of a month getting 35 followers, that's 1,000 followers. So 2% of 1,000 followers, that's 20 sales, boom. And I'm just sending people from a free social media post to a training class. They then book a call, uh, sorry, they then fill out an application to get on a calendar page, to then get on the phone with me, and that's where, if they're a good fit, if, feel like, if I feel like I can help them, if they feel like they wanna work with me, that's when they spend the money. So this is it, this is how I sell my online course. I hope this was helpful. If you would like to learn more about how I do this, what softwares I use, what I put in the free training class, what I put on social media, what sort of questions I ask on the application, uh, how I work my calendar page, what I talk about on the phone, the script, all that, um, everything. If you wanna find out more about that, you can check out a free training down below or head over to tedcarclass.com. It's my name, T-E-D, tedcarclass.com. And uh, you can see it all going down in action right there. So that's it. Hope you guys saw this video. If you would like to learn more, just uh, post in the comments down below and I'll make more videos explaining more in depth on how I do all of this, how I'm able to make these 20 sales and make a really, really good income from this online course business in the plant-based niche. That's it for now. Peace out. Much love. See you over at tedcarclass.com. Ciao.